A wide format floating touchscreen stretches across the center of the dashboard, hosting what looks to be a heavily updated infotainment operating system, while the digital driver display is framed in a distinctive hexagonal display behind an unusual new steering wheel design with X-shaped spokes. A row of illuminated haptic buttons features under the touchscreen for various key controls, while the center console has what appears to be a large charging pad for smartphones and is decorated by a dramatic LED lighting pattern that's echoed by the design of the speaker grills in the doors. Recent images of the car released by DS reveal that while it will sit higher off the ground than its DS9 predecessor, it will have a sleek, saloon-style silhouette, which undoubtedly plays a key role in it achieving a drag coefficient of 0.24. That's better than the rival Polestar 4, 0.26 CD, but just behind the Tesla Model Y, 0.23 CD. That slipperiness helps it achieve a maximum range of 466 miles, 750 kilometers, making the DS8 one of the UK's longest range electric cars, just behind the Mercedes-Benz EQS, which can drive 481 miles between charges. It will spearhead a totally overhauled lineup for DS, which is working to electrify each of its cars and increase its share of the market, a decade on from its foundation as a standalone brand. The new range topper will arrive at a crucial moment for the mark, which is still struggling to get a foothold in the European market. To the end of August, sales were down 33% year-on-year across the region, to 26,173 cars, and fewer than 800 of those were sold in the UK. The flagship DS9, based on the Peugeot 508, which is due to be pulled from sale, sold just 234 units in Europe until August this year, and only three in the UK.